Hello, Bacho. So let's read this question. An acidic solution of dichromate is electrolyzed for 8 minutes using 2 ampere current. As per the equation, following equation, it is Cr2O72 minus ions 14 moles of H plus ion 6, um, uh, 6 electrons gives 2 moles of Cr3 plus ions plus 7 moles of H2O. So the amount of Cr3 plus obtained was 0 0.104 grams. Now, the efficiency of the process in percentage is, we have the efficiency of the process and that too in percentage. And we have given F value value here, which is called as constant, is 96,000 coulomb at mass of chromium, 52. And we have atomic mass of chromium, ka, which is 52. Now, key concept of this question? Ka kya ho key concept is that we have to know how we calculate flow of charge. Kaise calculate karte so, flow of charge can be calculated using the formula Q is equal to I multiplied by T. Where Q is the flow of charge, obviously, flow of charge. I is the current. And T is the time taken. So now we have been given it takes 8 minutes. And there is one more formula. We obviously efficiency calculate karne hai, efficiency ka formula. To hume pata hi hona so efficiency in percentage is calculated using the weight actual or we can say mass of the element which is actual divided by mass of the element which is theoretical multiplied by 100. So that is the efficiency percentage. That's how we calculate efficiency percentage. Now let's solve it, start solving this question. It is taken, uh, it is given that the time taken in electrolysis T is equals to 8 minutes. So our that would be equals to 8 multiplied by 60 because we have seconds to convert it. So that would be equals to 480 seconds. Now current we already given which is 2 ampere and mass we have given mass of Cr3 plus is we consider M consider kar lete. M is equal to 0 0.104 grams. So this all information is already given to us in the question. Now let us first calculate the flow of charge. So the flow of charge Q is equal to I multiplied by T. So our I is 2 hai and T is 480 seconds. So our flow of charge is 960 coulombs. So our flow of charge is 960 coulombs. Now converting the flow of charge into Faraday. So converting flow of charge. Faraday's constant say or uh, divide kar into Faraday. Jogi already hame question mein provided hai, which is equals to Q is equals to 960 divided by 96000 which is equal to which is equal to 0.01 mole or we can uh, yes so this is equal to 0 0.01 or we can say moles of electrons are 0 0.01 now moving on to the question हम अगर moles of Cr plus ions, uh, Cr3 plus ions की बात करें, moles of Cr3 plus ions, it is equals to, we have been given यहाँ पे, यहाँ पे योगी plus 2 state, and this is our plus 3, so that would be equals to, 2 divided by 6, multiplied by moles of electrons, moles of electrons, so that is equal to 2 divided by 6 multiplied by 0 0.01 moles. So, when we calculate it, we have moles of Cr3 plus ions is equal to 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 0 0.01, which is equal to 0 0.0033 moles. So, if we calculate it, let us calculate the theoretical mass of 3, uh, Cr3 plus ions. 
So theoretical mass of Cr three plus Cr three plus ions is equals to moles of Cr three plus plus multiplied by atomic mass of Cr three plus. So that would be equal to zero point zero zero three 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 plus multiplied by sorry fifty two. We are making the atomic mass of chromium the other which is fifty two. So our theoretical mass is coming out as zero point one seven three two grams. Now moving on, let us calculate the efficiency. We have formula already discussed earlier. Now let us calculate the efficiency. So efficiency in percentage. Will be equals to theoretical ma actual mass. Actual mass, which we have given in the question, it is one point zero one point one zero four divided by the theoretical mass, which is zero point one seven three two multiplied by hundred. The unit was our same thing, so which is equals to sixty point zero five percent. So efficiency of the pro uh, process is approximately sixty percent. We can say the efficiency of the process is approximately sixty percent. But if we are going to do without approximation, so it is sixty point zero five. So here, so this will be the final answer. Sixty percent will be the final answer to the question. Sixty percent. I hope you understood the question well. Best of luck.